The Seoul Metro is in charge of the operation and management of subways from lines 1 to 8, which are operated in Seoul, Korea, and introduced an intelligent monitoring system using new technologies, such as digital twin, IoT, and video analysis technologies, to ensure the safety of citizens and streamline facility management. From now on, I will introduce the innovation system of Seoul Metro. The details of the project shall be as follows. This project was built by ordering projects for each road for all stations of lines 1 to 4. And four vehicle bases currently in operation. And a total of four PJTs were ordered from 2019 to September 2022 to complete the construction of lines 1 to 4 and 8. About 120 stations from lines 1 to 4 include four vehicle bases. And the scope of the project consists of the establishment of a 3D-based integrated management platform. The implementation of an intelligent integrated monitoring system. And the establishment of an integrated infrastructure environment. This project was named Smart Station. And Smart Station refers to a control center with an intelligent monitoring system based on 3D UI. The integrated platform, which serves as a control center, is linked to CCTVs, screen door systems, toilet safety sensors, firefighting equipment, automatic shutter control, and other IoT sensors with standardized protocols to link and manage facilities of various histories expand to a standardized system and establish an environment that is compatible. As an example, the improvement details of the service environment at the site are as follows. The system improved by applying new technologies through this project will be replaced by 3D UI, as shown on the left, and improved to 3D-based service. The new service on the right has added video analysis using deep learning and wire mode that implements map of communication lines in the station. By introducing an integrated platform, 3D map of each station was implemented based on the entire route map from lines 1 to 4 operated by Seoul Metro. This screen shows the entire route map for each route. And if you click the station located on the screen, it switches to the 3D UI screen of each history. From the next chapter, I will introduce the improved system and the newly installed system. The next video I'm going to show you is monitoring each history when you click history on the main screen. Description of the history control screen. The history control screen has a left menu where you can see search areas, announcements, SOPs, route maps, and maintenance. Right side menu to check evacuation route, watch group, radius search, virtual patrol, POI. Alarm information area where you can check critical, major, and minor alarms of the history and login area where you can check account information of the current history. Alarm status to check facility information area, unconfirmed, and full alarm information for facility verification. Historical information areas where you can check current historical information and trains in real-time operation, floor interactions for floor movement. It is divided into map interaction areas where you can control historical maps. By integrating the existing silo-based equipment into the minimum necessary equipment, it made it easier to secure space and manage IT equipment and secured operational efficiency to reduce power consumption. By implementing all stations and vehicle bases from the existing 2D or text to the 3D space screen, the operating environment is implemented so that the situation room can have the same intuition as the site. In the event of a situation, alarms can be checked and tracked on the 3D screen. And SOPs are configured to take action to unify on-site confirmation, emergency measures, and radio waves at the same time as the situation occurs. You can refer to examples of alarms and readings for some situations through the following video. This is a list of all alarm occurrences. The full alarm occurrence list can be called by selecting the full view button from the unconfirmed alarm occurrence list. And the full alarm occurrence list is a page. That views the alarm occurrence list for critical, major, and minor alarms. For the entire alarm generation list, you can search for alarms every alarm generation grade, alarm generation period selection, week, month, and month. 
you can check the list of alarm occurrences you searched by clicking the search button for alarms. For the alarm occurrence list, if you search for a critical alarm, the critical alarm occurrence list is called. And if you search for a major alarm, you can check the alarm list for a major alarm, and if you search for a minor alarm, you can check the alarm list for a minor alarm. You can check the entire alarm list by selecting the whole. The alarm period can be directly selected by the user to check the list of alarm occurrences within the selected period. If a new alarm is received using the alarm refresh function, click the refresh button to refresh the alarm occurrence list. Existing analog CCTVs have been changed to digital CCTVs with more than 2 million pixels in all stations. And vehicle bases and an image analysis system using deep learning has been introduced to automatically detect illegal rides. Health violations, detection of the disabled, occurrence of dangerous situations, and detection of restricted areas so that automatic alarms can be generated on the manager's 3D screen. The next video is a video that allows you to check CCTV immediately through the 3D screen for each facility. It's a facility information camera. To check the amount of equipment installed in the station. You can check the quantity next to the equipment name, and the camera category consists of facility information divided into middle categories, such as entrances, escalators, and elevators, in order to check the camera at a specific location. Select a middle classification and click the corresponding equipment to move to the location of the selection camera. And you can check the selection camera on the 3D map. You can select the camera icon to call images from the camera. And check the selected camera images. Camera images are divided into live and playback. Live displays real-time video and playback displays recorded video. The recorded video can be viewed 5 seconds or 10 seconds ago and the selected video can be played by clicking the play button. The type of camera is divided into a normal camera and a PTZ camera. Select the PTZ icon to run the PTZ camera control window. Control left, right, up, down in the PTZ camera control window. What can be controlled in the PTZ camera control window is not only camera movement, but also screen enlargement, screen reduction, and focus adjustment. Finally, if you click the icon view peripheral camera, you can call up to four peripheral cameras around the selection camera and check the surrounding camera images. Screen doors are installed on the station platform for the safety of citizens. But fisheye cameras and panoramic cameras are used to check the jamming status of doors on all trains. So that station workers can check the jamming status of doors when getting on and off the subway. We have secured the safety of the platform using the fisheye camera. A panoramic camera was installed to fit the size of the history to implement a system so that operators can check all platforms. In the event of a screen door failure, the occurrence of a failure appears as an alarm on the 3D screen for the safety of citizens. And the site situation can be immediately checked on the 3D screen through nearby CCTV. And on-site response and failure measures can be taken using SOP that can be immediately delivered to personnel at the site. For night workers, intelligent cameras were installed in the tunnel to add automatic monitoring and alarm functions. Various services have been added using deep learning image analysis technology. And here is an example of a system that provides alarm services by detecting representative illegal rides. ITV was installed on the wall of the platform so that the train driver could immediately check the boarding status of the power transmission platform with improved image quality through a camera installed when the train arrived at the platform so that the train driver could check it immediately. In case of an emergency in the bathroom, the elderly or the weak can distinguish long-term users through motion IoT sensors and heat detection sensors to prepare for emergencies through alarms so that they can know the presence and usage time of users in the bathroom. And this information can also be monitored through 3D screens. Next video is an example of monitoring of auxiliary facilities and toilet safety monitoring. It's an auxiliary facility. Select the accessories icon to invoke the accessories list. 
Additional facilities consist of toilets, convenience facilities, rental facilities, and relief supply storage boxes. And rental facilities are not exposed without rental facilities. If you select the desired toilet from the toilet list and click the list, you will be moved to the desired location. And you can check the status of use and unused status in real time in the Saros of each toilet. Convenience facilities include locations such as customer safety centers, lockers, and distributors in the station. And rental facilities can check rental information rented in the station. Click the rental facility icon to invoke details to invoke items necessary for rental facility management, such as store numbers, rental purposes, monthly rent, and contract area. This is the relief locker. You can check the information on relief supplies by selecting the location of the desired relief locker and click the icon to to check the details of the relief locker, just like rental facilities. Relief locker information, like rental facilities, is an item that needs to be managed. It shows a video of a virtual patrol on a 3D screen. Virtual patrol plans to further upgrade its service in the future to match virtual environments, such as Metabus, with real environments, and complete them with environments that immediately monitor the site. In the future, the Seoul Metro plans to expand the safety of citizens, the safety of field workers, and the efficiency of operation by expanding the service of this platform. The next video is an implementation of Virtual Patrol. It's a Virtual Patrol. Click the Virtual Patrol icon in the upper right corner. Clicking on the Virtual Patrol icon invokes the Virtual Patrol list. Select the Virtual Patrol list to go to Virtual Patrol mode. In Virtual Patrol mode, you can check the Virtual Patrol list and when you select the arrow-shaped icon, Virtual Patrols are executed, calling the peripheral cameras in the Virtual Patrol path, and Virtual Patrols are carried out. Peripheral cameras within the Virtual Patrol path can be called by setting a distance of 1M, 3M, 5M, and can specify a time to display the camera from 8 seconds to 10 seconds after the camera call. You can see that virtual patrols are being conducted along a virtual patrol path. During a virtual patrol, you can pause or click the stop button to see that the virtual patrol is complete. Rental facilities, relief, and emergency items can also monitor status information on the 3D screen. Alarm status and equipment status can be monitored on the 3D screen through the interface with the firefighting fire system. The following video is an example of checking this on a 3D screen. At the start and end of the train's operation, the shutter of station is implemented so that it can be checked, opened, and closed remotely on the 3D screen. A 3D integrated platform was established so that the current status of machines and communication equipment in history could be inquired. And environmental IoT sensors were linked so that workers' environments could be viewed immediately. By preparing standards for interworking on the integrated platform, compatibility was secured when expanding various sensors in the future. In addition, monitoring screens of various facilities systems have been linked to 3D screens to establish an environment that can be viewed. And the 3D integrated platform introduced this time will be used as a standard platform for all projects of the Seoul Transportation Corporation in the future. Finally, 3D wire mode. The implementation of complex historical communication lines in 3D wire mode has increased efficiency in the operation and management of station. Above, we will complete the introduction of an intelligent integrated monitoring system based on the digital twin established by the Seoul Metro in Korea. Thank you for watching.